What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are keeping up with the pace, bringing you guys some more off meta teams, but this time we are rocking out with a Life Orb Rayquaza team that features Luxray, Calyrex, and we got String Shot Volcarona. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button, turn on those notification bells so you know when all my videos go live. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Joshua. Joshua, thank you so much for sending another absolute banger of a squad for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 12. Absolutely appreciate it. Thank you so much for sending it. If you guys want to send me rental codes, go down the link in the description below. Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. DM me, tweet at me, however you want to get it to me. Send me your guys' rental codes. I love getting you guys' rental teams, using them in videos, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, like I said, link to my Twitter is right down in the description below. But let's get started here in that top left corner using Luxray over here. Luxray, ah, dude, I haven't used it in Sword and Shield. I maybe only use it like once in Sword and Shield. I'm only using a BDSP, so this one's going to be fun. I cannot wait to get rocking out with it. It's got Intimidate, which is such a good ability, alongside with the Shuka Berry for its item, so it can actually eat up a ground move. We have Volt Switch to pivot out. We got Snarl for special attack drops, Thunder Wave for Paralyze, and Eerie Impulse for more special attack drops. So I really do like this Pokemon right here. I think it's going to be really good up against special attackers and for speed control. Next Pokemon on team is going to be Volcarona. Volcarona is a solid little Pokemon in Series 12. It's not like awful. It's not like phenomenal. I think it has a good, a good middle ground. It's got Flame Body as its ability. Alongside with the Focus Hatch as an item, it's got Struggle Bug as one of its moves. Alongside with String Shot for Speed Control, Will O Wisp for Burn on Physical Attackers, and then it has Rage Power to protect the ally Pokemon. Middle left is going to be Calyrex over here. Shadow Rider Calyrex with the As One ability. Alongside with the Choice Scarf, it has Trick also as one of its items. So if we don't want to use the Choice Scarf, we can actually just hand it off to a Pokemon, take their item, and uh, put them into a Choice Spec kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? Or not Choice Scarf, I meant cho say Choice Spec. But uh, this thing has Astral Barrage, alongside with Expanded Force for two stab moves, and then Palm Pump for its final move, which can heal ally Pokemon, or it can just be a uh, coverage move. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Rayquaza. Rayquaza is solid, especially this build right here with Airlock and the Life Orb. It kind of can control weather teams, and it is really good in Dynamax form. It's got Hurricane and Draco Meteor both for stab. It also has Earth Power for its coverage move. And last but not least, it's rocking out with Protect. Bottom left hand corner is Suicune, and Suicune's solid, it's just like Volcarona where it's not like amazing, it's not terrible, it has a great middle ground. It's got inner focus so it can't be faked out, or even intimidated, and then it's got leftovers as a Rocket Skull for stab, Icy Wind for speed control and coverage, we got Snarl for special attack drops, and then we got Tailwind for speed control. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Urshfu. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know I absolutely love I haven't really been using him as of recently because he fell off as of recently, but I, I just love using Urshfu. I think he's a great backup Pokemon and really strong all around. He's got the Unseen Fist so he can hit through Protect, Black Glasses to make his Dark Moves do a little bit more damage, and then he's got Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch for first and priority, Close Combat for heavy stab damage, and Detect for its Protect move. Guys, if you want to try this team, run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Luxray Life or Rick Watson team. We got ourselves a tough one coming at you in battle number one. We're going up against a heavy meta Regigigas team that has Kyogre, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, Rillaboom, and then last but not least, it's got Regilecki. And then you guys already know, the, Reg the Regigigas and the uh, Weezing combo. So I feel like Urshfu could be a really good lead for us because it can counter up on that Shadow Rider, Calyrex, with Sucker Punch. It can do big damage on the Regigigas. I just like that all around. So I'm going to go there. I might even go in with Volcarona as a lead. Just so I can Rage Powder any shot, you know? Which wouldn't be bad. Or I can go in with Suicune. What does Jeans want to do here? Suicune could set up a nice little tailwind, but if he does lead Rollboom, that could be a problem. That's why Volcarona wouldn't be too bad. Go Volcarona, or I can go in with a Luxray. Get off Intimidate. What's the player? What is the play? I could go in with Calyrex. I mean, Calyrex wouldn't be too bad, but I feel like Volcarona is going to be a solid little Pokemon here. Just to Rage Powder shots and kind of get, get some control for our squad. I do dig it. But then if he leads to Kyogre, we're kind of sitting in a tough spot, which I, I, which I don't like. Hmm. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? I mean, abilities aren't affecting. We got to watch out for that in this, uh, if he goes with in between. So I could go in with Volcarona. I am going to end up leading Volcarona. I'm going to go Calyrex too, and then I'm going to bring Rayquaza in the back. My only problem here would be if he leads Kyogre, but I I don't see him leading Kyogre. I just don't see that happening. I feel like the Regigigas is just going to pop out of your turn one. And that could be beautiful, because I can drop a mean close combat into that Pokemon. A mean close combat right into him. Close combat might be able to even kill. Big old stab damage. You guys know Urshfu can do some big damage all around. But we'll see what he wants to do here. Go, go for the Regigigas. I'd be cool with that. See what he does. He goes into He does go in the Regigigas. So great little lead for us. I got the Urshfu ready to rock. I could uh, Rage Powder shot. 
I could definitely rage powder. I could string shot. Um, what do I want to do here? They just start rage powder in this. It's gotta be my play, right? Correct? Close combat right into him. I think it's my play. We do have struggle bug, which is a cool move. I do like struggle bug. That was a special attack of the hitting opponents, and I think it hits both. Yeah, that's a pretty cool move. It's kind of like a better snarl. It's a bug snarl. <laughs> it's a bug snarl, but you know what? I'm just gonna rage powder the shot. I'm gonna look to get off this close combat. Big time close combat. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna Dynamax? You could Dynamax Regilacy. Uh, not Regilacy, Regigigas, which I wouldn't mind at all. I would not mind if he Dynamaxes Regigigas right now. I think that could be solid for us because we have that Focus Ash. The Volcan Runner. We're gonna rage powder shots. We'll see what he wants to do. We shall see. But guys, I didn't even ask you a question of the day, and that is, what do you guys think of the multiplayer feature in Gen 9? We only seen a little bit of it in the trailer, but from what we've seen so far, we can actually uh, play with four people in the same world, which is pretty cool. So let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. He's going to rock out with an Ice Punch. He's going to stay in with Reggie Gagas and not Dynamax. We're able to soak all day, which is really good. I wonder what uh, Weezing's going for. I don't know, but Reggie Gagas is dead. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Great first turn for us. Reggie Gagas drops out. We still have String Shot ready to go, and we can still Rage Power Shots. But I do wonder what Weezing's going for. I am curious to see what Weezing's going to go for. He's going to go for a Taunt. So we can't Rage Powder anymore. And I believe he's going to bring out a Pokemon like uh, like Kyogre. Right? I feel like Kyogre's going to come out at this point. But the Water Spout could do would be so dirty. I could swap into Rayquaz and Airlock this out. But it's got to be Kyogre, right? No, it's going to be Rillaboom. Which... I'm cool. I'm definitely cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Because he doesn't have Terrain. He does not have terrain. I could still drop another close combat into you. I don't lean towards just close combat you. Struggle bug across, or I could string shot these boys down. But I feel like speed's already kind of in our favor. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Since he is a physical attacker and he might Dynamax, I'm just gonna wicked blow here. To you, and I'm just gonna throw a burn over onto. Oh, I can't. That's ugly. That's ugly. I guess we'll struggle bug. I guess we'll struggle bug. And do I just close combat again? My defense is down. It's down in the dumps. Uh, I might as well close combat, try to get off as much damage as I can. It's just struggle bug across on the board. That's fine. That's fine. You taunted me. Dang, dude, that will could have been nice. Or even a string shot, but I feel like speed are fine. Close combat's gonna poke here. You want some mean damage, yo. Urshifu pieces up. I love me some Urshifu. That's so good that he can't bring out the grass the grass terrain. Struggle bug's gonna fly. We have speed all day. We got a special attack drop onto the uh Oh, we kill the roll boom too. Yo, Volcarona, let's go. Let's go, yo. I'm loving this first battle. I'm loving this first battle. We got Urshifu and Volcarona doing absolute work. He's gonna go for a Sludge Bomb. We're gonna be able to soak that up all day. Even minus two on special things. Oh yeah, we are piecing up. We are piecing up. He's gonna throw out his final Pokemon. This one's gotta be Kyogre, right? Yeah. Okay, Kyogre finally comes out here. He's probably gonna Dynamax it. I'm not even gonna lie. So you know what? I mean, I could go for this. Actually, I should be faster than him, right? Unless he's choice. What's your speed, kind sir? Let me see your speed. He's going to Pokemon. Let's check out the Urshifu's speed. So far, we're buzzing in this battle. Uh, what's your speed? 163. Yeah, unless he's choice, we should have speed on that. So I should be able to chip up a little bit of damage. And I might as well just go straight into... Actually, I could go into a Wicked Blow at this point, but... Close Combat's probably our play, right? Close Combat is probably our play. Yeah, I'm just going to rip through Close Combat. And obviously go into a Struggle Bug because it is a special attack drop. And he's probably Dynamax that over. See what he does. Or oh, he just cancels battle and we clean sweep with Volcarona and Urshfu as our lead. I can't believe we just swept with Volcarona and Urshfu. That's a lovely feeling. That is awesome. But we're hopping into our second battle. Let's go back to back here. Going up against a Zacian and Kyogre team. And this is pretty better. He has the Incineroar alongside with Amoongus, P2, and then Intimidate Lander. So he could potentially pop trick him if he wanted to. Uh, but how should I do this? How should I play this? I feel like Calyrex could definitely be a great little lead here. Right? Calyrex could be a solid lead. What's his speed at? His speed is at 210. I should be able to outspeed that Azazi, uh, you no know, problem. So I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging the Caldex to get off with, with the lead because if he does lead in uh, Incineroar, he can't fake me out. We can kind of just get after the battle that way. I could go in with Luxray too, just for a nice little Intimidate, and then I could Volt Switch out if I want to. I kind of like Luxray. Luxray's not bad. Luxray's not bad. Yeah, let's get Showcase and Luxray. We'll go Caldex. We'll go Luxray as a lead. We'll bring Rick Quasit in the back end, and then I feel like Urshfu is just a late, late game back end Pokemon for me to play. Yeah. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yeah, that first battle, I was not expecting to sweep with that guy, those guys. I was expecting just to bring out Urshfu, 
Hoping he would leave Regigigas. We get rid of the Regigigas and he kind of rolls out from there. But his play should have definitely been bringing out Kyogre after Regigigas died and just water spell. Could have had an easy double kill. Not even, right? Uh, no, he, no, we had speed a little bit, so... Would have been cutting it close. Would have been cutting it close. He's going to end up going into these two, which I'm totally fine with. I can just straight up Astro Barrage here. With my choice specs and get off some damage. And then, oh, uh, what can I do from there? I could Volt Switch out if I want to. But I think I'm just going to, uh... I think I'm just going to Snarl. I think he's going to Rage Powder his shots, right? Seems like his play. He's going to set the rain. Oh, yo, look at that shiny Luxray, though. I think it's... Got a little gold on him. All the shinies with gold always look dope. Like, Azumarill looks phenomenal. Altaria looks incredibly good. I just love it so much. But, yeah. We're going to get off this Intimidate. It's really going to do nothing. I could drop an Expanded Force, which would be super effective. But, I don't have terrain. I don't have terrain. And I want to get uh, done some damage onto that, uh... Onto that, uh, Kyogre. So, I could Snarl or I could Volt Switch out into, say, Pokemon like Rikaza. It wouldn't be bad. What's your speed, Luxray? I would love to save Luxray. So, I wouldn't mind Volt Switching. 126. I say we still Volt Switch out. I say we still go for this Volt Switch. Let's do it. Let's dip out of here. Let's see what he does. Is he going to Dynamax? Or is he just going to go for the Rage Battery? He doesn't even go for the Rage Battery. Okay. We get off this big time Ash Barrage. I guess he's looking to Spore here. We get off some mean damage, which is lovely. He's going to go for a Water Spout, which both my Pokemon should be able to eat up here. Beautiful. Volt Switch should come out here next. Potentially KO. And then we bring out Rayquaz and Dynamax. I'm with this all day. Bang. Big old damage. We love it. We love it. We get a crit too, so not a bad, not a bad bolt switch, because we can save that intimidate in the back end for Pokemon like Landers, or even uh, or even what's it called? What is that? Sassoon. So I guess this Amoongus is gonna spore. Hopefully, I'm kind of hoping it's into my Kyogre slot, or not my Kyogre slot, my Rayquaza slot. Just for the sheer fact is I can just ask Raj to pick up the double kill after this. Let's see what he does. You can go for a spore. He going after? Him. Okay, cool. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So like I said, yo, Astro Barrage can come out here, pick up the double kill, and we can get thriving with this battle. Uh, I guess we'll go for a Hurricane. And he did set the rain for me. That's gorgeous that he set the rain for me. But I want a Dynamax for Quasa when I, when I get a chance. But this battle is looking... It's looking good right now. It's looking good. He's gonna end up with Strong Kyogre. Who are you gonna go into? Who's taking the shot here? P2's gonna take it. That's a solid swap. I'll give it to him. That's a solid swap. That is a solid swap. He gets a download rolling. Rayquaza is going to be asleep this turn, and he's going to protect... Okay. Okay. I don't want a Dynamax just yet. I don't want a Dynamax just yet. That's a solid swap right there. That's a great swap. There's P2 in the back end. Uh, I'm going to try to wake up here. I'm going to go for an Astro Barrage again. Just to take out him, and then I'm just going to Hurricane right in this slot. As I feel like we should wake up here, and we should be able to get one. I don't know. We'll probably Actually, we'll probably be asleep this turn. I'm hoping we can wake up. Because Amoongus is going to be dead this turn. He's going to go for a double protect. It is not going to work out. Astro Barrage is going to fly through here. It's not going to affect P2. But more importantly, we take out Amoongus. And I think he's popping Trick Room, right? He's got to be popping Trick Room. And I just feel like we have to Dynamax next turn. Even if we're still asleep. Because I feel like we're going to have to wake up and get rolling with this. Let's see. Grimnade's going to get boosted. That's lovely. Love to see And wake up, Rayquaza. He's still asleep. Trick Room's got to be popping. Unless he's going for an ice move. Yeah, no. There's Trick Room. So Trick Room comes out. Um, Yeah, I want to Dynamax Rayquaza. I really want a Dynamax Rayquaza. I just think it's my play. And if he brings out, let's say, Zacian, I might hard swap into my... I guess into Kyogre. Wow. So, Origin Pulses are going to be flying. Uh, I have Urshfu in the back for a first turn priority, which could be nice. But, yeah, I'll go for an Astro Barrage if we can. And then, uh, I'm going to Dynamax and go for... I think a Quake. Do I go for Special Defense Boost here? Special Defense Boost would not be bad. But I'm really not worried about that, uh... That Kyogre, because I know he takes out my, uh, I know he takes out my Calyrex at this point. I know he's going to take out my Calyrex at this point, so. Once I get out Urshfu, I can kind of just sucker punch right into it and finish off the damage. I'm really not worried about that. I'm going to be worried about the back end Pokemon, which has got to be Zacian, right? I'm surprised he has a Dynamax. I really am. Because if the back end Pokemon is Zacian, it can't Dynamax. But I know I'm still asleep on request, but I have a feeling we're going to wake up. So that's why I went into this. He's going to end up going for a foul play. That is going to take me out. See Calyrex. And like I said, I'm just going to bring out Urshfu next turn. Try to get rid of him. Let's see what he does. Origin Pulse coming in hot. Ice Beam. Ooh. Give me a little. Oh, whoa there. Wake up, Rayquaza. No. Dude, we just wasted our Dynamax. 
Why? Why do I gotta sleep for three turns? Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? Why do I have to sleep for three turns? Why? Why? Why, dude? Why do I have to sleep for that long? I just don't like it. Why do I have to sleep for that long? I'm gonna go here and uh, do I guard the shot? Why do I have to sleep for that long? It just makes no sense to me. That I have to sleep for that long. Three turns? Come on, man. Give me a two turn sleep. I'm guaranteed to wake up here, though. So that's kind of buns. That's kind of buns, but Tricker might help us out again if he does have Zassian in the back end. But I think he Dynamaxes P2 here. He withdraws P2, and he's going to show his final Pokemon, which is going to be. It's going to be Zassian, which is good for us. That's actually really good for us. That's actually really good for us. So he thinks I'm probably going into close combat in that slot. Rayquaza does wake up here, and I'm going to guard. That was kind of a bad guard. It's fine. Sucker Punch is going to fly here, through here, take you out all day. Cool. And we're going to get rolling. We are going to get rolling. So Zacian is the fastest on the field. Tricker might be biting him. I have Intimidate ready to roll, but I'm going to go for this Wormwind, and I'm going to go for this close combat. That is my play. That is my play. That was going to be kind of close, because P2 goes first. P2 does go first. I have to go for this close combat. Got to get rid of that, rid of that little booger. I could hard swap now and save Rayquaza. But I feel like we have to go here and into a Wormwind, right? Ah, we're just gonna go for the Quake. We're gonna go for this big damage here. We're going for the big damage. Let's do it. Let's see how this one plays. He's gonna go for Fat Boy. Can we eat that? We do. That is gorgeous. That That's solid. I think we just won the battle on that. I think we just won the battle on that. So I can rip into you. Take you out, see you later, and then close combat's gonna fly, and we're gonna take this win. I can't believe he didn't Dynamax. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax at P2. But I think he was in like a position where it was just like, uh, I don't want to Dynamax P2. It's all good. Because then he would have had to get rid of foul play. But yeah, I would have Dynamax P2 in that situation. Rayquaza lose some HP to Life Orb, and then my boy Urshfu, who I've been loving. Like I said, I love Urshfu. I love Urshu. He really fell off, but he's so good. He is so good. Close combat's gonna come through here. He's gonna chip up some mean damage onto that, uh, P2, and then I think I just protect this last turn. Wait, it might be one more turn left, right? Could be. It could be, but I'm going to bring out Lux right here. Lux, Ray. How many turns left in Trick Room? If it's one, that's like a guaranteed win, but yeah, we are thriving. We are thriving. We are thriving. I got to watch out for Foul Play. Foul Play can still do some good damage onto me. Intimidate coming out here. Even though it is special attacking, it does nothing. So let's see the Trick Room turns. One. Yeah. Just detect them. Just detect him. He can finish this one off. And I guess we'll go into like a an eerie impulse if we can land it. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Nice little eerie impulse. But I think he cancels the battle, right? Nah, he was probably hoping I don't protect. But yeah, I'm gonna protect my Urshfu. He's gonna go for a recover. Okay. I'm kind of cool with that. I'm kind of cool with that. So he goes for a last ditch effort. He's gonna recover some HP. We're dropping eerie impulse, which is beautiful. Minus two on his special attack. I mean, now he's minus one because he did download. But yeah, I can just go into a uh, close combat at this point. Drop it into him. And then go into another eerie impulse. Yeah, just double down on the eerie impulses here. Get ripping into him. Let's see what he does. Close combat flying through here. I don't think he can pick up the KO. Because the eerie impulse is going to come out before P2 can even move. So he's going to be minus three. Even though my defense is minus two, he's going to be minus three. We should be able to soak up whatever he has to offer. Eerie Impulse coming in hot. Yes, sir, yo. Luxray coming in clutch, dude. This Luxray is cool, dude. And he pops a Trick Room. Are you going to recover again? I'm going to close combat you. And Eerie Impulse you again. I ain't playing games. I ain't playing games. Do I Eerie Impulse him or do I Thunder Wave him? I could Volt Switch him. That's normal. I see we start chipping up some damage. Let's see what he does. We shall see what this kind sir wants to do. He's going to recover here. It's fine. I think he's allowing me to drop my defense. I think that's his plan. So we're chipping damage. Pulse switch coming in hot. Yeah, Not bad. I should probably re impulse him again. Close combat's gonna come in hot again. And is that KO? It does. Straight up just KOs. Was that crit? Or we just get a high roll? No, we just got a high roll. But there it is, yo. P2 trying to survive and recover. It's not happening. We take battle number two. Let's hop into a third for a perfect record. I just realized that I did not switch the team in the layout. We still have the team from the last video, and I just recorded two battles for you guys. So I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to switch it out. Just know, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is actually like the first time I ever did that. I legit looked over at my recording setup, and 
<laughs> I was just like, dude, that's not the team we're using today. That's not the team we're using today. But like I said, I'm not going to stress about it. You guys know exactly what team we're rocking with today. It's this Luxray team. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. We're going up against another strong meta team. Yvelta, Zassian, Storm Drink, Ashton, Whimsicott, Landorus, and Regilecki. This is heavy meta. This is heavy meta. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? We could bring Suicune in, for, in here for a little bit of uh, Tailwind. A little bit of Tailwind control could be nice. I don't mind it. I could definitely see him bringing in Yvelta for that Sucker Punch lead. Could definitely be an option. I could go in Rayquaza and Suicune. If I wanted to, I could go into Lux right here because Luxray's not too bad up against some special attackers. And he has Intimidate. So, you know, let's go for that. Let's go for that. I don't mind it. And if I had to snarl, if I had to drop some special attack stats, I'm with it all day. So, I'm going to go that, that, and then have Kalos in the back end. I'm with it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. We already guaranteed ourselves a nice, lovely winning record. Let's try to get ourselves a perfect record. But yeah, dude, I can't believe it, yo. I looked at my brain. I was like, we're not using Snorlax and Dialga and not Luna on top of Bulu. That's the team I used yesterday. I honestly like totally forgot. I just woke up today, got my recording stuff. I, I changed question of the day, but not the team. That's the first time I ever did that. And it wasn't even like it was after the first battle, so I could re record. Like, I'm pretty much three battles in here. I'm not going to stress about it. Hopefully, you guys understand. But yeah, go ahead and make fun of me down in the comment section down below. <laughs> He's going to end up leading these two. Uh, two special attackers. Um, I could protect Sweekin, but I don't know. Do I have protect on Sweekin? F Snarl, Icy Wind. No, I do not. I do not have protect on. Oh no, Suicune here. Timonate's gonna come out here. I've definitely got a Snarl drop. Definitely got a Snarl drop. Do I want a hard swap? Nah, we'll go for just Tailwind. We'll go for the Tailwind here. Tailwind take a bit of, bit, bit of speed here. I'll oh, just Snarl up. I will just Snarl up with Luxray. Let's see what it does. He's gonna end up protecting you. Okay. So he protects your belts here. I think I wasn't going for an area impulse. He's gonna E web for the slowdown. And uh, that's fine. I'll take that all day. We'll Tailwind up. We shall tailwind up. We shall tailwind up. The speed's gonna get dropped. That's totally fine. We'll tailwind up and we'll drop a snarl onto that red Jalecki. At this point, I might just eerie impulse this uh, Yvelta. Unless that's a physical attack in Yvelta, which is definitely a possibility. Do I go for another snarl or do I. I could volt switch pivot. I could volt switch pivot. We have leftover chilling here. I could icy wind here as well. Which would not be bad. Or I could double snarl. I could double snarl, but I feel like a nice little speed could be good for us. I'm gonna do that, and I, I kind of just want to volt switch out. I kind of just want to volt switch out and save our intimidate. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm gonna volt switch out. I'm volt switching out with this Shiva or with this uh, with this boy, and he's gonna actually swap. That's cool with me, See, unless he's going into Gastron. or that 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 doesn't work either. <laughs> he's gonna intimidate. We're gonna have inner focus here. And I get a, actually a four times super effective move on him. Unless he takes out my Suicune with like a Thunderbolt. No, he's going to E-Web again. The Suicune's able to eat that up. I'm cool with that. I'm going to Icy Wind him down. Just a tad bit. And I cannot Volt Switch out, which is tough. He has a crit on my electric. Get out of my face with that. Get out of my face. So I should have snarled. I should have snarled. Volt Switch can come out here. Great swap by him to actually get that Intimidate off too. And now Icy Wind's going to fly. Who dodged that? Oh, he has an Ice Berry. He has a Yachi Berry. He's rocking with the Yachi Berry, which is pretty cool. That's a good way to waste the Yachi Berry. So that would have did a good amount of damage. We get the speed drop on them. Uh, can we? Nah, Tailwind wouldn't do anything at this point. We're not Tailwind. Uh, we don't have speed at this point. That E-Web boy's just, just doing too good. He's just doing too good. At this point, uh, I guess I'll Icy Wind again. And do I Snarl or do I go for the, the Pivot? I could go for the Pivot. I really want to Pivot, so I'm going to go for the Pivot. With the Vol Switch again. What are we gonna do with Lando? Lando's minus one, which isn't bad. Which is bad. We have minus one speed. We also have Regilecki minus one. So if I can get out of Pokemon like Rayquaza here, while Regilecki's minus one and we're in Tailwind, I could outspeed Max Quake and kind of just get after his battle. Now see, this is gonna be a good battle. It's gonna be a good battle. He's gonna end up Thunder Cajun. I think that takes me out, right? That's such a cool move. Can he eat that somehow? Yeah, no. See ya. See you later, partner. And I think he picks up the double kill. I think he picks up the double kill. No, he doesn't, so we can beautiful. That's beautiful. That we go before him. That's huge. Because now I can swap in the Rayquaza. Because I think he's going to go for a ground move, right? Hey, right, wouldn't he go for a ground move? What other move would he go for? Maybe a rock move? I'm bringing out Rayquaza here. Rayquaza. And I'm going to die max him. I'm going to get after him. I'm going to get after him. Go for a ground move. Just so we can dodge it. Go for an EQ. Take out your Red Lock here. That'd be hilarious if he does that. To go for. Just for a rock side. So rock side's going to poke. That shouldn't do too much damage. Never mind, I lied. 
That did a ridiculous amount of damage. That did way too much damage. Um, I kind of want to Dynamax him. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to Dynamax him. I feel like I have to Dynamax him. Or I can save it for my Calyrex. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to save it for my Calyrex here. I do want to pick up the KO like that. I kind of want to protect him. Because I could Dynamax him and Palm Puff him. But I know he outspeed. So I don't want to protect. I'm just going to go into this. Wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it did. I thought I thought it was a neutral move. Because we're Dragon type. But I, I, I guess not. I guess not. I guess I got my typings mixed up. He ends up withdrawing. Who's he going to go into here? He's going to go into Yvelt here, which is a great, great call for him. A really good call for him. Is he protecting Lando? It's not. So Lando's going to go down here. I am choice in this move, so I, I, I got a Dynamax this next turn. He does have Sucker Punch. And hopefully his Hurricane can uh, connect here. This could be a big Hurricane for us. Grimnade's going to get boosted. This could be a big Hurricane. We might not be, even be able to Dynamax this turn. Hurricane comes out here. It does connect. Give me the Ducks. Or just KO. Or just KO. That's big time KO. That's big time KO. That's big time KO. Let's go, Rayquaza. Tailwind's gone. Um, He has speed back with Regilecki. So if Regilecki comes in here, it's going to be tough for us. We definitely got to Dynamax Heller. Uh, Calyrex. That's big time KO. Zassin's going to come out here. That's a scary little Pokemon. That's a scary little Pokemon. Um, I think I got to hard swap. I think I have to hard swap. Just so I can get off that Intimidate. Looks right. We're going to hard swap you. And I'm just going to roll into a... No, no, no. We're not going to hard swap the Calyx. I want to Dynamax the Calyx. I'm going to Dynamax the Calyx. And I could go for... What would be a better play? Psychic Terrain? What would any of these be beneficial to us? Lower target defense? Yeah. Because I do have Luxray. And Luxray is physical attacking. I'm going to go for Flutter by, But yeah, I'm going to take out... Who do I want to take out here? Actually, I should Flutter by. Now, because I want to get rid of the, that Zassian. I'm going to go here. We're going to take out the Zassian. And I'm just going to protect. No, I got a hard swap. Because he might E-Web and get off a turn with a... Uh, he might E-Web and get off a turn with Zassian. So I got to Intimidate it. I have to intimidate it. Yo, what a solid battle. What a solid battle. He's got a Dynamax at Regilecki, right? Or is he, I think he might just go for E-Web. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Intimidate's going to come out of here. This is a tough battle for us. A tough, tough battle. I kind of want him to Dynamax. He's not going to. And the reason I said I want him to Dynamax is because if it turns to a 2v1, he cannot. He has no double-hitting move, you know? Because Zassian has no double-hitting moves. The only Pokemon that would have a double-hitting move is Regilecki. And if he Dynamaxes... He does not have double moves anymore. He's low enough HP for any of my Pokemon. We're going to end up Dynamaxing his Calyrex. And have our opponents not Dynamax all, all games today? I don't think he has. He does go into that E-Web. This is exactly what I thought he was going to do. Now, is he blading into me? Is he blading into me? We're not going to be able to take that out. What's he going for? It's going to take me out, isn't it? Double damage. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yo, let's go! Calyrex! Yo, let's go! Let's go, Calyrex. I love you. See you later, Zassian. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, that's huge. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. We love it. We love it. That's huge. Grimnade's gonna get boosted. Um, He could drop an E-Lev, but I think we're fine. The reason I say I think we're fine is because I think, uh, I think Luxury can eat up an E-Lev. That is huge. That is huge. And now, what move should I go into... Would Volt Switch do more damage? Volt Switch is special. Wow, I thought it was physical. I think we'll go for a Snarl. We'll just Snarl. See, e going to poke here. I'm not sure I eat up another one. I think we need to Snarl the KO. This is wild. This is close. This is super close. I think we need to Snarl the KO. And if it doesn't, we lose. But I think it should be able to. This thing's a little lightweight. Snarl coming in hot. Take it out. Let's go, yo. Luxray coming in clutch, and we grab ourselves a 3-0 perfect record with this amazing off-meta team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a perfect record for you guys in today's video. Like I said, I want to apologize for not actually switching the teams in the team preview, but it's all good. I'm not going to stress about it too much. My man, Joshua, thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I loved it. We got to use every single Pokemon on this team and absolutely dominate in today's video. If any of you guys else want to send me some replica teams, 
head down link in the description below jeans youtube over on twitter dm me to meet at me over there and follow me for extra content i'm planning on posting a lot more over on there but uh guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody